actually super duper excited about. Something that has always fascinated me and that I've always been very interested in is outer space. I think the stars are fascinating. I think the planets are really interesting. The fact that we can go out and get pictures from outer space, from Earth is just, it blows my mind. So we are going to be making a space themed art project today. So for this project, you are going to need a lot of different color construction paper. You can also just color the paper if you don't have colored paper at home. You're gonna need a glue stick, oil pastels or crayons if you don't have any. Definitely gonna need scissors and probably a pencil. You might wanna grab um, a Sharpie or some markers for details afterwards too, which we'll talk about at the end of the project. I hope you're excited. I cannot wait to do this project with you. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so for the first part of the project, we are gonna start off with the background. So we're talking about outer space. We are going to use the color black. And we're gonna start off with the stars and then we'll put this piece aside. So I'm just going to use my oil pastel, just a white one, and do little dots randomly all around my paper to represent the stars. You could make some bigger, you could make some kind of like almost diamond shape like this if you want to. However you want to do that is up to you. And I'm just going to try to make as many as I can. Think about a star filled sky in outer space. Cluster, some that are farther apart. If you know any constellations, you could draw some constellations using the oil pastel and the black paper. All right, I think that looks like enough. If you want to add more, you can definitely add more but I think that's enough stars for me. Okay, so I put my background paper aside and now I'm gonna grab my other colors. Thinking about the planets, we know there is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Pluto is a planetoid. When I learned about planets when I was little, planet, Pluto was a planet, but it is no longer a planet, so we're not gonna count that. So we're gonna think about the planets that you wanna make. Choose the colors that you like. Um, obviously, if you want to do Earth, you're going to probably choose the color blue. If you want to make your um, outer space picture a little bit more abstract, you can really choose any colors that you want. You can have a purple planet, pink planet, red, green, doesn't matter. Whatever colors that you want to use, it's entirely up to you. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use yellow and I'm going to use um, green for earth so that I can use blue oil pastel on that and I think I'm also going to put um the orange aside so I'm going to take these other pieces of paper and put those away I'm not going to need them right now so we're not going to my paper's not that big I don't want to cover up all my stars with all the planets so I think I might have like the piece of a planet down here maybe part of a planet up here and then maybe a whole planet here so if you're thinking about the planets, you are going to think probably of the shape of a circle, right? So I actually have um, a coaster here that I put my drinks on to make sure I don't ruin the table. So I'm gonna use this coaster to trace so I can get a nice circle. If you have something at home that you can use to make a circle, that's great. If you wanna just freehand a circle, that is completely fine too. So I'm gonna trace my circle on the green. And then I'm just gonna line them all up together. And I'm going to cut them out at the same time so that I have three circles at once. And actually I just wanna cut off the extra so it makes it a little bit easier. Hold all three pieces together and cut out the circles so I have all three of my planets at one time. These I'm going to recycle. These I'm going to save and put with the other colors because we might use those later on. Grab my star pieces again. And then I just want to play around with 
where I might want to put them. Even if they hang off the edge, I kind of actually like that. Maybe I'll have one planted down here, trim this off. You could have this hanging off the side. You could trim that off too. This could be the sun if you wanted, or you could turn that into a planet. Whatever you want to do. Um, I am going to use just as a placemat because I'm going to use oil pastels to add some details to my planet. So I'm going to start off with my orange. orange planet. I want to think about some patterns that you might see when you see pictures of planets like Saturn. Um, sometimes you see these really cool swirls. They almost look like clouds. If you have a chance, take a peek at some pictures of the planets in outer space, the actual photographs, it's pretty fascinating. So I think I'm just gonna take like my red and just add some little swirly lines. I don't wanna just have a big orange circle on my paper. I want to add some details to make it look a little bit more interesting. I'm just adding some straight lines some curved lines, some swirly lines, maybe add some different color. This is like an orangey red. See how that comes out on that orange paper. Kind of just adding these as I go and adding more as I like it. So I wanna make that swirl a little bigger. Maybe add a little bit to this swirl. Maybe even a little bit of white. It's not really showing up very much. Oh, there we go. And I think also what I want to do is I'm going to add just a little bit around the edge to give it like a shadow, a little shading on it. Think about our pumpkins that we did in fall time with the chalk pastels. This time we're using oil pastel, but you can still press harder and then lighten up and it's going to create like a shadow effect. I'm just going to go around this whole thing because I'm not quite sure how I'm going to place it on my paper yet. Again, I'm not trying to make this look super realistic. I just want to make it look a little bit more interesting instead of just adding a big orange circle onto my paper. That looks kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of the sun actually a little bit. But now I'm gonna add, grab my yellow and think about what to do with the yellow. So I have this color here. It's kind of a brownish yellow. It's called goldenrod. And I think I'm gonna do something similar. I'm just gonna go around the whole thing. I'm not really gonna add any swirls, I don't think. Just keep adding lines. Reminds me if you've ever seen Van Gogh's Starry Night. Actually, if you look at my mug here, my mug kind of looks like that. <laughs> Got those little gold swirls kind of around the lights to make the, I mean the stars to make them look like they're moving. And then again, I'm just gonna go around the whole circle, pressing and then lightening up just to make it have a little bit of a shadow on it, to make it a little bit more interesting instead of just being a flat yellow circle. So my yellow's done and now I'm gonna grab my green. So I said I was going to make this look like earth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab a nice blue pastel that's gonna show up nicely. I think I'm gonna do this light one on the green. And add the water to the earth. I kind of like the idea of the shape of the continents. water, the green is 
that's ground the continents. Land masses, right? It's not all blue, it's not all green. It's definitely a combination. It's not perfect, but you kind of can get the idea that it is supposed to be Earth. And then when I'm done adding the water, what I'm gonna do is add some white swirls that represent the clouds. We are the only planet that really has clouds because we have the atmosphere, so they stay. They float out into outer space. Again, it is a little bit abstract, but I think you can tell what I was going for. All right. Let's away. Let's see how that's going to look on there. Yeah, I think I like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my glue stick and I'm going to glue my planets on. Not over here. Put some glue. Remember, you're gluing on the back of the piece that you're gluing on. I liked the way I had them laid out before, so I'm gonna put some glue on this orange one. Kind of have it hang off the bottom here, so I don't need to put glue all over the whole thing. And I think for this yellow one, I'll put it up in the corner over here. When I flip my paper over, I can see where this overhang is. So, if you want, you could glue it like this. And then from the front, you won't see it. You can cut it off, you can leave it hanging. It's totally up to you. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna trim these off. And now I have planets for my picture. Okay, so now that we have our planets done, this is really just going to be the background for our picture. If you were to go to outer space, what would you fly in? A space shuttle, you got it. So we're gonna grab those pieces of paper that we had before and we put aside and we're going to create a space shuttle. So I want you to think about the colors that you wanna use. I probably won't use these three colors for the big part of the spaceship just because they kind of match my planets. So I think maybe I will go for a red spaceship. And you don't wanna make it too big because you don't wanna cover up your beautiful planets and your stars. So to start, I'm gonna do um, the body of the spaceship and we're gonna think back to kindergarten. Think about those shapes. I know you know your shapes. I know that sounds silly because you're in second going into third grade, but we're gonna make a rectangle. So you can draw it first or you can just cut it. I'm gonna make, um, a skinny rectangle, I'll just cut this edge off from my paper and see. So I think this is a little bit too big. I don't want it to cover all of my planets, so I'm gonna cut this a little bit smaller. Cut some here, and then make it even a little bit skinnier. So here is my spaceship, and actually, if it's leaving Earth, it'd probably be going in this direction, right? Maybe I will use my scrap. I'll go back to these scrap pieces from before. And this is gonna be the top part of my rocket ship. So I'm gonna cut a triangle. I told you, we're going back to kindergarten, thinking about all of those basic shapes that we know. I'm gonna cut a triangle. And this will become the top part of my rocket ship. We wanna give it some fins on the side. If you see a rocket ship, sometimes that's how it stands, right? When it takes off, it's standing up like this and then it's flying out, but it has those little like fins on the side. I should have looked up scientifically what those things are called, but I forgot. So we're just gonna call them fins for now. And I'm gonna go back to my yellow too. The shape that I'm gonna draw, I'm 
I'll just use my pastel. I'm gonna draw a straight line and then a curved line. It almost looks like a shark fin, that's why I was calling them fins. And I'm gonna cut those out, keeping my paper folded so that I have two at one time. So, two fins for my rocket ship. I think that looks pretty cool. And I know, I don't know about you, but if I were flying out into outer space, I would want to be able to look outside. So I think I'm definitely gonna want to put some um, windows on my spaceship, my rocket ship. So I'm gonna grab a blue piece of paper. Cut out a couple, I'm thinking about like an airplane, right? Maybe some oval shaped windows. I don't know, I think that looks pretty cool. I'm happy with my rocket ship. Okay, so just like those planets, we were talking about making them look a little bit more interesting by adding some shading using our pastels. So I'm gonna do the same thing with my rocket ship. I haven't glued anything down yet, so I'm gonna shade each piece. Starting with my yellow, I'm gonna use that same kind of goldenrod color. And just go around, almost like outlining it, but using the pastels to add a little bit of a shadow. One of my fins. Same thing on this one, just kind of outlining. windows I'm gonna take a white pastel and I'm going to draw a little line like this to make it look like a reflection on the glass of my window my rocket ship body is red so I'm gonna use that red oil pastel going along the sides perfectly flat. And then last but not least, the top of my rocket ship. Going along, outlining on one side. Come to the other a little bit over here. Oh, my paper keeps moving. to get in on these videos sometimes too <laughs> and there we go so they're all shaded let's get gluing first I want to figure out which way my rocket ship is gonna go and like I said I think if my rocket ship was leaving work or work <laughs> or it would be going in this direction so I'm gonna go ahead and glue my rocket ship as though it is flying away from earth pieces on one last thing you could do to add to your spaceship is you could add some fire coming out of the back so if you're using those oil pastels they should show up really nicely on the black piece of paper um, if you think about fire remember warm colors hopefully you remember what the warm colors are red orange and yellow so you could use some red coming out the back some shapes that almost look like almost like teardrops some fire so I've got some red this red is not showing up that right on my dark black paper and I'm gonna add some other colors too a little red there's some nice orange bright flames Um, 
Allah Allah kayak gitu kan udah really looks like that rocket ship is taking off into outer space. If you decide to do this project, please, please, please send me an email. I would love to see a picture of you with your beautiful outer space picture. If you know some interesting facts that you want to share, please feel free to send those to me too. I hope that you guys are doing well and you're making art and I really miss you guys so much and I cannot wait to see you. Um, I will come visit you when you are at Powder Mill. Um, I hope you all are doing well. Like I said, please email me anytime. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.